Hello again. This great water by song, Fisherman's Blues, was the title track of their album and this song was released back in the late 80s. Now the song is in the key of C and we just have four chords. C major, G major, F major and A minor. But the chord sequence is as follows and it repeats right throughout the song. Let's look at the intro first. The intro starts off with the G major chord, then it goes to F major, next we have A minor and then we have C major. And that's the chord sequence used right throughout the song for all the verses and also for the chorus except that in the chorus we don't play that final C major we go straight from the A minor to the G for the instrumental so if you listen to a recording of the song and play along with it it will be very evident it's also of course I have the chords and the lyrics uh, in the resources section so if you download that and you can follow along as you play let's look at the strumming pattern now for the song it's a swinging pattern, so instead of your regular 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and it's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... It's a great song to strum along with and this is the pattern how I strum it. For the one beat it's a down strum and then the 2 and is a down up. 1, 2 and... and the 2 beat is actually a very strong beat which is unusual. So it's one, two, and, and same for three and four and. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. One, two, and three, and four, and down, down, up, down, up, down, up. You can vary that during the song with one, two, and three. I want to just look at one other thing and that's a different chord voicing in the intro where the intro starts off with a G chord one, two, and three. Then it goes to F, so that's two bars there. One, two, and three, four. sorry, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. And when 
we go to that F. There's a chord played on a mandolin, but it works fine on the guitar as well if you have two people playing. It's nice if one person plays the chords and the second person plays. So that's what we play instead of the F. There's the G. And then we go this. There's one down strum on four strings. And you can see what I'm fretting there. I'm fretting with my first finger, I'm barring the fourth, third, and second strings, and my little finger is going here to the um, 13th fret on the first string. So that's the F, that's another way of playing the F major chord. So instead of playing it down here, we're doing one. And then the next chord in the actual introduction is in A minor. So what you do up here is you play the A minor in this position. Now what I'm fretting there is this shape. So what we have here is my middle finger is fretting the 10th fret of the 4th string. My first finger is fretting the 9th fret of the 3rd string. My ring finger, 3rd finger is fretting the 10th fret of the 2nd string. And then my little finger, Pinky, is playing the 12th fret of the first string. And then the third chord in the intro is the C major. And for the C major, we just play the C major chord up here in this, in this position. So that's my third finger is on the 10th fret of the fourth string. My middle finger is on the 9th fret of the 3rd string and then my first finger is barring the 2 strings here on the 8th fret and that's the C chord. And if you want to play the G in that, because if you listen to the song, that little uh, run of those chords is repeated. and. At times the G is used also. So the G is like the F. There's the F. The G is just two frets further. Same shape. G, F. So maybe you'd like to experiment with that. One, two, three, four.